Hi, you're here. Welcome. My name is Fractured Dan and it is time for Super Liminal. I'm gonna warn you guys off the bat, I'm not in a good mood. I have already been playing this for about 40 minutes and I lost everything. My computer crashed and I, yeah, I basically lost the gameplay video so I can't, it, it, the rest of it is useless. I basically had to start over. So we're gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna try to do some good commentary. I actually, I'm really pissed because I felt like I was doing a lot of really good stuff on the first pass and now it's gonna be stale at best, but like, you know. But yeah, so we basically, uh, I, I played 40 minutes, so that's like a decent chunk of the game. So I'm gonna try to keep it fresh, but we're gonna have to go back from the very beginning and I changed the format in Twitch, so hopefully, if it crashes again, it'll still keep the file. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the small, smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnoscope technology. Man, I had so many riffs to go off of this too, and I can't remember any of them right now. Rest in the comfort of our flagship. Like it was fucking hilarious. I'm, I'm so angry. That can't be wordplay. All right. So we come over here, Terms of Service. I've tried to read this a few times and it just won't be legible. Um, some of the titles I can read if it settles into being nice to the graphics for a second. I actually want to see something because like this is the test room, right? So this is where, so if you're unfamiliar with Superliminal, it basically operates off of one core mechanic. It was something that they uh, they first did in the um, Source Engine, and basically it's uh, basically it's a perspective, perspective tool. So um, if I were to pick up this piece here, perception is reality. The piece where and when I picked it up is going to stay the same size relative to the whole screen. But if I back up here. See, the piece stayed the same size, but the background, I'm further back, so it's going to change relevant to that. And you can use all kinds of little... Uh, when, when I talked about this before, I mentioned artists would be really good at this game because it's really all of the artistic perspective tools that um, make a piece, make the decision about where and how big it's going to be. So you see this... You see the overlap there that it's going to appear beyond the door frame because the door frame is appearing in front. Uh, it, it overlaps in front of part of the piece. So if I drop it here, boom. But if I raise it just a bit higher, it's in front of the door frame, drops there, and it's a bit smaller. Right? So that's the basic principle. And then we go off on an adventure. Boop. Make that tiny. Woohoo! Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling I, asleep. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't Your sign it. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness yeah, and control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already did most of this. I mean, <laughs> like I mentioned, but, um, wait, there aren't any fire... Alarms back here. No? Okay. So there are a few interactables that are good for achievements in this game. Uh, namely, fire extinguishers, fire alarms, and soda machines, right? So we'll be keeping an eye out for those. I'm not going to explain these puzzles too much in detail because, you know, like I said, I literally just finished playing through most of them. But, you know, you can kind of get the logic of it as I go through these first ones. And I'll try to commentate as much as possible, but... Yeah, that was mostly ruined. Confirm. Now this one... You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> that actually still is funny the second time. Uh, this one I don't believe I can get because it's, it's never going to fully line up 
and be complete because basically it's almost lined up there and if I go back just a little bit more I'm gonna back out through the doorway so yeah so we're not gonna be able to get that one to be grabbable but it's gonna teach us about those stretchy ones in a little bit here you do, -do, -do. Uh, hold button and hold puzzle piece. All right, and we're gonna use those visual cues we got from before, and the shadows also adjust in real time, so you can see where it's gonna be placed based on the shadow. Mm -hmm. do -do 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 -do. But the I mean the sucky thing is that you're not gonna get to see any of my like honest reactions to a lot of. Them. God, I'm so... I don't think I've ever been this mad for a Let's Play. Is that enough? I can make it. No, I can't. Oh, now I'm kind of stuck. And I don't have a helpful shadow in this one, but it keeps dropping... It seems like it keeps dropping too far away from the door. During eyelids, huh. you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due what? to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete true, the remaining true. Sound logic. activities. Alright, soda machine over here, I know. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. <laughs> so yeah, I'm basically just playing with the stuff that I already discovered, so you can just guys can just kind of see visually what's going on with it. And can I get out of here? Hang on a sec. Can I get out of here? Oh, I'm too close to it. See, if you're too close to it, you can't get it to put its lines past a wall. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay. So what I need to do is put it right there. Why do you keep doing that? There we go. Oh! Huh. What are you doing, little guy? Okay! 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 So I found something new that I didn't see last time. That's good to know. So, I'm willing to bet I'll be able to do that more than once. Right, um, how do I get past this one? Oh, right, it's the tiny, tiny. I gotta get it tiny. Need to make it tinier. Do do. Yeah, maybe I'll be able to get through a little bit more of this as well. Who knows? Who knows? All right, that's the button. That's the block. Need it smaller than that. That should do it. Mm, not quite. I think that's it. There we go. Would have been a little bit easier if it had been a little smaller, but... All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Ooh. Alright, and this is something I discovered last time, which I don't think a lot of people figured out. This, this is an infinite hallway. If I go this way, red, blue, red, blue, red, and there's just like a little jitter when it has to load the next hallway, so you can tell it's infinite. All right, we're going in here. 
You know, this is actually still really enjoyable on the second pass, even though I literally just did this. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it there. Get close. Grab. Alright, we're going off to shadows, remember. Shadows. So, we need a big, big, big. That's both buttons there. Man, it just seems like this would be like really, really tricky Please to stand program. Please for polite recognition on your completion of the Somna Sculpt orientation. You did it. Hey! To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in oh. proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Oh, right. This one, you got a hidden cheese over here. And we got to break out. We got to bust out of here. Oh, we got to break out. We got to bust out of here. We got to bust out of here. There we go. Because this... This door, this door is a lie. It's only bricks. Uh, I, there's, I don't think there's a blueprint or anything extra on this one. No, yeah, we good, we good. Okay. Oh, there's our first fire extinguisher. <laughs> hey, it saved those. Huh, so it's, okay, so I won't have to focus on those for a little, whoops, that still caught me, still caught me by surprise. Man, the level is loading right now. All right. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Woohoo. Okay, these are exhausted. I love how it just sounds like an out-of-breath guy. Water soda. Mini soda. I used to live in mini soda. What about the water cooler? Can I mess with that? No? Alright. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. This is the one with the uh, optical illusions. We've got an optical illusion hall. Some dreams are best left closed. Oh yeah, I was commenting on this before to the nonsensical order of the room numbers, which has completely changed from last time I was playing, so that it must be randomly generated. But yeah, it makes sense because, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of how the regular flow in hotels goes anyway. Whoop! So that's the tiny one. It's a teeny tiny, very, very small. And I think that's the cloud flat that was mentioned on the little whiteboard. I, I, I breezed past it this time, but there was a little whiteboard outside one of the areas, and uh, it's mentioned something about a cloud backdrop, and I'm betting that's what that was for. So that's the 3D one. This is just an ordinary room. Okay, that one's the, the where I go next. So we'll just come over here real quick, just so we can boop a doop. Exit temporarily moved. So yeah, the game is um, pretty linear, despite all of the fun, wacky stuff. <laughs> cool, and this one, yeah, this is the one where there's a thing up top and there's also a blueprint outside, which I will double check if that's already gotten. It could be just like the... Uh, other thing where it's okay something weird happened there it must have hit like a beam on its way down thank you yes yeah, so and the music stops we've got stair con over there and the blueprint is filled out okay cool awesome and I already checked around the rest of that area, and there's nothing to see, so we get a, basically a speed run of the first little bit here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about <clears throat> being special. So special, in fact. Oh, it keeps going, if I, even if I move on. Nice. Are. 
But not to worry. We're working on it. Okay, so that one just pops in. I don't even have to click on it. You're working on it. I believe you. <laughs> There's some forgiveness in the jump height. You can kind of climb up the last little bit if you... Uh... So this one, yeah, we got the angle, but we got the missing flowers. So you come around here. Pop this into existence. Here it is. And flowers on the back side. Thank you. And this is a special block because it has ah! So we get it pissed here. We make sure it's in the hallway at the end. And I guess I am saving a little bit of time by not having to go back for the uh, all the fire extinguishers. Because I did have to do that before. So this is going to be about like, you know, five minutes shorter than the first run, at least on the part that I'm actually going to go through. And I'm not going to like do a bunch of play acting like, oh, I wonder what's over here. <laughs> you know, just to make sure it's all. Yeah. Yeah. Authentic. I authentic. There's uh, something to be said about authenticity. I don't know what it is, but there is something oh, to be said about my it. Name is Dr. Glenn. Maybe this game will feature just something about it. In to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. I'm but special. Please keep moving forward. And hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Actually, yeah. I mean, getting lost is how you get found, right guys? Right? Right? Wisdom. Boop! Alright, I'm pretty sure there is an invisible ceiling out here. I've seen people try to get on the tops of these buildings before, so I don't think it's going to be... Might still be worth checking. Let's see, I want to drop this on this tractor so that it falls over. Nice. Why does it always write itself though? That's annoying. Boom! That is exactly what I wanted actually. Uh, let's get QB. Oh, and we've got a stack of pallets over there that I can jump on. Nice. Okay, so this is going to go... Well, let's just make it bigger. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, and I've got the uh, top two. Okay, so good. Oh, there is an invisible ceiling. Ooh, and I got the music going now. Nice. I think that was still worth checking out. I wasn't able to get up there before, so. Dr. Glenn. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. Because I'm but special, you right? you now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually All right. you All right, good. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Hey, this is where I crashed before. Awesome. Cool. Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> 15 minutes quicker than I did before. Awesome. All right. Uh, okay. Nothing in this. Ooh. So I actually don't know if there's any more achievements left on these things because I already got two of them. And the second one just said pull enough fire uh, handles, so I don't know. I'm going to keep doing it, definitely. There might be a third level of the achievement. Moon. I think it's the moon. Yeah. Wait, is the moon going to stay aloft wherever I put it? Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's get some of the stuff off this moon. First, let's get Dr. Hello. Pierce. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, 
please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Well, that's just good advice in general. About that size, huh? Yeah, because one thing I have learned about watching other playthroughs is that the size that you make the door that you walk through really does matter because it actually changes your... Oh, actually, let me just show you. So if I make this door just a teensy bit smaller, I can still walk through it, but now I'm taller compared to everything else. See? Don't get lost. What if there's a fire in elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams a night. I wonder if that's uh, based on anything. If that's ac accurate in any kind of way. All right. And on the road again. I'm too tall for this elevator. <laughs> and that's actually a mechanic we're going to use later. So, you know. Keep an eye out for that. 4 a.m. Okay, we're progressing. We're progressing. We're regressing. Uh, okay. Sweet G. It's a private. Yeah, everything here is exactly the same. Green, red, diet. I love how there's a baking soda. Some pretty clever jokes in here. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. I would if I knew how. Hey, wait a second. I don't... I don't think this was in the original game. I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen this before. I think this is another... Oh, no, no, this was this was in it. March of 91, I wasn't even born yet. Oh, there's... there's my step. Make it big, bigger. Yeah, that'll work. I'm real sloppy with my jumping, I've noticed. First person platforming is not for me. If you see my playthroughs of uh of um Power Watch Simulator, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, hey. Something in that vent. That's, that might be a little too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. All right. Let's get that up there. And I think I can go get this block. Thank you. About that should do it. Damn it. Still more intuitive than Power Wash Simulator. Oh, I can get on top. Or, or not. I don't I don't think I can crouch. Okay, so that's still too big. Oh crap, now I'm in front of the thing. Alright, that should do it. I don't even need to adjust these other two. Okay, yeah, I really need to make that a bit smaller. Oh, not that small. Okay, so we're just going to make it a bit bigger than the other one. That should be right. No, it's still too big. Let's make it about the same size. 
There it oh, it's another piece. Nice. All right, now we gotta use the actual puzzle. Yeah, I should probably only need those two. Yep, winning. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm going down there next. So there must be a dead end over here. Oh, with another fire extinguisher and fire alarm. So still worth it. Come over here. Uh, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Can I go into the darkness? No, that's just where the wall is. Doop -a -doop, doop -a -doop -doop. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Mm, is that so? Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Got it. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Yeah, and I would if I knew how. Ooh, these are kind of warped. Oh. <laughs> Them's aren't real these. Yeah, because there the distortions got me, and then as soon as I'm past here, it's already stretched out on the bottom. See what I mean? Ah, oh, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Um, I guess I'm got, not going to need those blocks, because I can't take them with me over here, so... Moving on. Okay, so what's the... Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, the glitch is funny. That's a funny glitch. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. what I bet there's something up high that I can reach if I can move these okay so do these also go up so maybe if I like do that and then this guy goes out is that possible Ah, oh, almost, almost possible, but I don't think not quite. Well, bring that one down. Pretty sure that's all I needed, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so there probably wasn't anything extra there. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Ken, yeah, what if I could? You're, you're very much about the what, but not about the how. Oh, these fall apart. Uh, very interesting. So I really only need one piece. Oh, thank you. Oh, too steep. Not high enough. 
There we go. Yoink. <laughs> God, that sound is so funny. Alright, uh huh. Oh! Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, <clears throat> we got big cube. Oh, we got, we got elevator shaft is what we got. I feel like when I fall down there, I'm going to reset again, but I'm going to take this with me just in case it comes. Oh, hey, I was able to bring it with me. How about that? Probably just stay. Oh no, I am here. Bart Blagov, Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith, Layers of the Dream Mind. Ooh. All right. Well, before I go in there, I gotta see what's up here. Uh, another exit. Another blueprint. Let's go down the elevator. Feeling lucky. I have no reflection. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wonder how many loading bars they made for this game. Because my bet they'd have to make at least 20 to keep it fresh enough. Alright. Pulling alarms on a new layer. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hey, Dr. And Glenn despite Pierce. Touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness hmm. and self doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong? Even when the sun is shining. Oof. That's uh that one hit a little too close to home. Thanks, Doc. Oh boy. This all is taken into the next level. <laughs> Excuse you. If I miss a fire extinguisher because of this nonsense. But hey, there's some red light. Maybe I can... Yes, I'm looking for a fire extinguisher in the dark. Don't judge me. And I found one. So that's the key. I gotta get against the wall. Which isn't gonna help on this side. Hmm. I may just have to stay one or two short. Oh well. Maybe if I get a light source and I can bring it back to that room. So I'll have really high ceiling. Oh my god. I don't remember this happening in any of the playthroughs I've seen. That door just disappeared. Yeah, I can't go back through that now. That was actually kind of creepy. Walk in. Dual sided walk in. 
That's kind of handy. Oh! Yeah, I don't, uh... I beg your pardon? You think that you... Well, let's just uh, get out of here, shall we? Yeah, the creep factor is really... Ooh. What did I found? Okay, that's actually pretty dope. Maybe if I go this way as well, there will also be... There is. Oh, that's nifty. I don't know if this is going to be anything, but... Um, yeah, that's something... Die, 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 die it! Die it! Diet soda. All right. Yeah, I think this is all connected, but let me just go over here. We have die, die, diet over here as well. So much diet soda. Yeah, so these are all just kind of one big connected. Ha! Man, that's been getting a bit of a jump out of me every time. All right, so murder, 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 beans! I feel like this is where I'm going to fall again. Oh, yeah. There, there it is. <laughs> is there a path across anywhere? Oh, hey. Yeah, that's, that's the... Uh -huh. Do I have to jump the rest of the way? Is this a leap of faith thing? It doesn't seem to be a full way across. Ho! Oh. <laughs> oh, there is a full path. There is a full path. I just went the I went the hard way. All right, yeah, so there's more, more blood. More blood is needed. Blood for the blood god. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Oh, please do. Because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. Kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Ah, this is somebody who hasn't caught wind to the lies of social media. Not everybody is having a good time, man. In fact, most people having a pretty equally lousy time most of the time. Don't want to miss a puzzle piece or anything. I have to make sure to keep looking up. Stop doing that! Oh, I don't like it. Oh, hey, a puzzle piece. I guess I'll just... Oh. Oh. But see, that's what this game does really well. They just think about all the different ways you can play with perspective, and you can hide and reveal things, and... It's really satisfying. You are advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Really? That's my bad, huh? Hmm. 
can't remove these boards. Maybe, maybe there's something in this room that I'm missing. Well, I can't go that way, so... There's something back there that can be lit. No, I don't see anything. Well, shit, where do I go now? Yeah, it was the stairs. Oh, maybe I have to use that and place it. Yeah, yeah, okay, so. So I think this is supposed to light up. Wait, no. Can this break the wood? Nope. Maybe I just make it big and then go back. Uh, it's either blood or red. Nah, it's blood. I'm a bit stumped here. That lights up that hall hallway pretty well. Is that going to help? So I feel like I must be either missing a door or... Yeah, no, there's nothing else here. That's amazing. I've seen like three playthroughs of this and I'm still stuck. It says the puzzles are challenging and that there's enough of them. Alright, I, I, I definitely feel like there's gotta be some hidden door that's gonna light up. Like just something is gonna be clear. I don't know if I need to break another wall or what I need to do. But, yeah, those, those aren't going, this ain't going through here. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. I was missing a hallway. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let's start here. Let's get this big. All right, now we go a boinkus, a boinkus, a boingo. Let's grab our grab our flashlight here. Okay. Nice. Nice and well lit. Okay. Whew. That was a tricky one, huh? Wait. Well, got disoriented for a second. No item... Why do I feel like I'm going to need this light? Is this... No, that's not it. I probably need it bigger and closer. Yeah, I'd say that's much better. But now we have a dilemma. These bricks aren't made for breaking. Uh, oh, there it is. It's up there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, am I gonna fall again? That would have been another good place to get. Oh! Did you know that unintentional multi dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions um, with the standard orientation protocol. Yo, that knife, where'd it go? I 
don't feel safe. I can't turn the flashlight back on and off. Oh my god. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. I mean, I kn I'm pretty positive that there aren't going to be any actual scares, but I just can't be sure. Idea. <laughs> Oh, it's a generator. Red paint, huh? Skepticism. That's all you get from that is skepticism. I see a blueprint. How do I get in? <laughs> Guys, I need you to know I did not add that slide whistle. That was 100% the game. Oh my god. That was so funny. Oh, that was so funny. How do I get over there, though? I need something to climb on, don't I? Oh, I can jump higher than I thought. That looks like a blank shelf space. Not quite. Maybe I can just kind of squiggle back here. Or maybe I can use the ramp to get on top of the shelves. Oh, I can kind of squeeze back here. No, that's too narrow. Okay, yeah, let's try that. That, that might work. Whoops. Yeah, actually, I think this might work. Okay. Now I should just be able to walk off this side. Hey, and there we got it. Easy peasy. I got no strings on me. Any chess pieces back here as well? Nope, okay, that does it for this side. Uh-oh. They had to have left something for me to get back over, though, yeah? I mean, that would make sense. Maybe I can just kind of cheat it. Oh, wait. This loader. I can definitely jump on this loader. There it is. Okay, so they did, they did have a solution for that. Okay, now i got to check the other side, now that I know how easy it is to get over there. Okay, and uh, swoop-dee. No collectibles? Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, nope. I'll probably see something in the edit and be like, you idiot! Oh, uh, well, I guess if there isn't anything over here. Hmm. Kind of disappointing. I mean, it wasn't that much work, so I guess. Oh, and this one's got pallets even easier. All right, we got it. We got it. Let's go. Let me just take a quick peek around, though, because you never know. All right, I'd say that's thorough enough. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is the thing I was talking about before. I didn't miss any, did I? Nah, I'm good. I've been pretty good about getting all of those.
enjoy avocados. I do. I, uh... Mmm. I mean, that is better than 100%. 6 a.m. already. Oh, I'm glad I only needed to press one. Starting our routine. Why does it sound like a thunderstorm every time that shorts out? Uh, Dr. Glenn? Oh, it's a different color. That's interesting. I don't think that's something that happened in the other playthrough that he's seen either. I'm really glad that that's been a consistent thing. Like, there's always something new to try. Let's see. I must have passed... Oh, soda cans. You can always use a soda can. Oh, or the door. And there's even the color association there with all the green. That is nice. Wait, what's nine? Oh no, that's it. Yeah, we're going with lo-fi. It's just... I, I wanted to stick with number four. I liked the old timey, but like this is just too chill. I love it. Well, she get that looked at. Okay. Oh. Rampage. Oh. Uh, oh, this one has a gap up top. Why'd you change my music? Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. <laughs> okay. You know what, I'm gonna back out of this room. So we can have a quiet place for me to say thank you all so much for watching. I think I'm gonna do this one in two parts. I, I don't think there's that much of the game left. A lot of people do this one in one video, but I thought it would be nicer to split it up into two. So that's gonna be it for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe so you can catch the second half of this game. Uh, make sure to like this video so that my channel gets a little bit of a visibility bump. And if you have any other games you'd like to see me playing, please leave those down below in the comments. And until next time, take care of yourselves and be well.